Hi everybody, this is Stephanie. I just wanted to jump in and share the current projects that I have on my desk. Well, I did finish my Halloween hexagon cardigan. I am so excited to say that. When I say finish, it's like 80-90% done. I just need to do the ribbing. So I need to do the ribbing on the sleeves and weave them in. Fortunately, I ran out of the black yarn, which is what I want to do my ribbing on. So I am so bummed, but I will be sharing that hopefully at the end of September all complete. So I'm going to just place it on real quick here. You may not be able to see it all, but this is just a little bit of a sneak peek, you guys. Look at it. It's <laughs> I made something. I feel so proud of myself. I'm just so happy that it came out as good as it did because I made it. So I was like, it's not going to come out great, <laughs> but it, I think it did. So I do feel really pregnant though. So that's why I'm not doing a full view because I, I got a big old belly here too, but it's pretty big. It's pretty heavy and I love the way it turned out so far. So that's done and I have to put it on the standby because I need the black yarn, which I don't have. So another project that I started was my son had asked for a yellow and white blanket initially. Then he saw that I had orange and now he wants a candy corn blanket. So um, I've made him a blanket before. I have his rainbow blanket that I've made him a while back and he drags this thing everywhere. He puts it all over the floor and he is like, yes, he loves it. It's just in the block system and I believe it's a single no, let's see, the moss stitch, and then I had a puff stitch um, of order. I could have done more, but I was just ready to give it to him because he kept asking and asking for it. Um, so yeah, so I have that blanket that I made for him. I want to say it's been a year already for that blanket. So it was time for a new blanket for him, but he's already asking for it, and I just started it like two days ago. Like I got two, three rows in. So I went ahead and just went with a double crochet. I want this to be just a mindless project that I can pick up any time whenever I don't know I'm in between projects or um, and I don't want to think about a pattern to follow so um, I did double crochet and I'm going to just try and do five rows a day at least um, ten if I don't have anything else pressing on my list which I kind of do but I like having something that I don't have to worry or think too hard on I just feel like I need to get some so much done I hope I'm not placing too many on my hook that nothing gets done for September because they're all ongoing. So I don't know you guys, how many projects do you go, do you have that are ongoing each month? Do you work one at a time or do you try and like, you know, you like to have to be able to switch um, from project to project that keeps you uh, motivated and entertained to be able to switch things back and forth. I think it all depends on the project sometimes, but currently right now I am loving the switch. So I'm loving the the um, the rotation, if you will. All right, let me go ahead and finish the five rows that I want to do for the day for this one, and then I will meet you back and share the next crochet project that I have on my hook. All right, I did my I did four rows. I'm gonna probably work on this more in the evening when I'm tired of all the other projects, so I'm going to go ahead and put that to the wayside and work on the next panel for my um, neutral cardigan, neutral sweater, okay, so my bulky weight, my bulky weight sweater, that's what we're going to call it, or I have a piece of torn yarn here, oh, when I have frogged it, this is probably adding in yarn or something, I don't know, but I don't need it, so we're going to just trim that. So we're going to do 50 chains because that's what I did for the front panel and go ahead and use this. This is not the hook. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And I have it right here. This is the hook. I use the 9 and the 9 millimeter. Go ahead and just cheat this really quick. I'm 
make sure I did it right. Good, I haven't wrote down the pattern that I used, which is basic, but I like to write it down in case I want to know for whatever reason. We'll go into the fourth chain from the hook and do our first single crochet. Let me go ahead and get that row done. Cast it on to the first row, moving on to the second row. Again, this is just the basic. It wasn't a ball, but it's fine. Basic moss stitch get this thicker sweater done. Can't stress how much I love this stitch and this yarn and I cannot wait. It's going to be my first bulky weight yarn sweater. This is whipping up pretty quick and I'm hoping um, I can get at least 5 to 10 rows or at least until the color change that's like 20 rows. I'm going to work on it throughout the day. I do have a few errands that I need to run. I'm meeting a friend for, for lunch and ice cream. So I'm not working as much and I'm going to hang out with them. So I make little lunch dates with them, which is really nice to get me out of the house. And yeah, so that's pretty much on my docket. I will probably be taking that tote with me and adding more rows. You know, something that I considered, um, there is a craft market or craft fair going on in, was it November or December? I think December. And I am really curious to see, maybe I should try and do a few projects. Um, things to sell, since I'm not working as much, it'd be nice to um, try it out. I've never been to a craft fair. Never, well, I think I've been to like one or two, but I've personally never been to, to sell. And it'd be something different. I'm getting tired. This is putting me in a trance. So, I thought about it. I don't know. Just comment down below. Let me know if you've ever done a craft fair and you sold any products. And how did it go? Was that something that you liked or? you do not like let me know the pros and cons possibly i'm down for either i um it's just an idea i threw out nothing set in stone this may not even be the you know the best year to do it since my um when my daughter's born she's gonna need surgery and so she's gonna be in and out of the hospital and um you know it's like i think if my plate's probably full it's gonna probably be full but I don't know, like I said, if, you know, things line up, if I get enough stuff um, to sell done before she's born, then I probably have a good chance. Um, we shall see. Alright, roll number four. And we got a nice little strip here. I think I did a stitch or two more for the back, but I'm okay with that. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. These projects where I just kind of freestyle things, I'm just like, mm, we're just going to go with it. We're just going to go with it. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, I even tried a granny square out of this yarn, but it looks so bulky, so thick. And I was like, you know, like, I wasn't feeling it. I was not for a sweater. I think it would have been a beautiful blanket, though. And I thought about it, but I still have that other one that I'm working on. But I'm going to just go ahead and do the border and call it a day. So, yeah, I was like, I don't want two blankets with this yarn. I'm going to just go ahead and make this sweater, which I'm kind of glad that I have. I, and I, I lean that way because um, I, I love it. I love the way it's turning out. So this is it. Like, see, frogged. I got a big old ball of yarn. All right. I think I'm going to do a couple more rows of this. And probably take a break and have a snack. It's been like two days later in the original segment. Uh, I had a doctor's appointment for the baby and I went ahead and did some crocheting while I was there. 
and then my children got sick so I had to keep him home for the day he had a tummy ache and just was not feeling good so I didn't get a record so let me get a bit, a bit of an update um, how much did I get done in the last two days I went ahead and got more rows done on the orange for his candy corn blanket so quite a bit I'm running out of orange so I'm not gonna debate if I want to buy more orange or just do a bigger block of the yellow and then a bigger block of the white I don't know I feel like the candy corn should have a nice block system or more orange so I don't have a lot of orange left oops almost unrounds it okay so there goes that project and then my bulky cardigan my bulky neutral cardigan I had already had one panel done and the mouth stitch and I need to do like a little section for the um like the shoulders make room for the neck and then do the sleeve so I have the first panel done and when I left you I only had like just cast it on with you guys so in two days I got the second panel done you guys I'm so excited this is whipping up so fast so I do appreciate that for the bulky um yarn so and I went ahead and got the yarn my husband brought me, my black yarn that I need to finish off the bind off so that I can do the, I keep forgetting the name, the ribbing. The ribbing and um, along the sleeves and the bottom portion of my cardigan. So, yay, that can get done. Um, I only bought one. I didn't want to have extra, so I'm trying to use my stash. And I have a previous video regarding that. So I wanted to make sure like I'm going to make do with this. I'm hoping ribbing is not a lot. I've actually never done ribbing through crochet. So I have to see what ribbing I want to use. Well, I mean, I could do it on the loom, but I don't know. I just want to connect it to the, ooh, it's a sweater. So the cardigan, hopefully one is all I need. I may do that today. So that way during the weekend, I can take advantage of any cells. Should I need another one? Fingers crossed. I hope I don't. Okay. Those two projects, right? Got them all good. Two other fall, three other fall projects. I know there's so many of them. Um, do I have this one? Where do you have the red? This would be two red in here and then three orange. And I wanted to do the Alpine, 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 Alpine stitch. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. But I want to do that stitch and I want to do it with these to make a sweater. So. I'm excited for that one, and I want to do this one, and I want to try and find a sweater, and I think I'm going to make it like kind of like mesh-like, so that way um, I can use it all enough for a sweater, and I'll have too much left over, but also not run out, so I want to start these, but I want to finish something that I have on my desk, I mean on my hook. So regarding this one, it's kind of hard because I used the stitching or the my the amount of stitches that I used for my other one and I kind of weave in all the ends. I kind of did that. Oh yeah, no ends. Look at that. I weaved along the way, you guys. Which side? What's this side? I weaved them in along the way. Oh my god, I love that. I'm going to do that more often because I don't have to worry about it when the project's done like you saw in the previous video. So dread that. But, um, yeah, I used the measurements of before my pregnancy, maybe added a couple more stitches. So, um, I can't really tell if this is going to fit me. So I think I'm going to start and possibly do the top portions for the shoulders, connect them, and then stop. I don't know if I want to do the whole project put it all together and then wait till November to try it on because I think I'll be disappointed if it doesn't fit so I don't know if I should stop at this point right here or just go ahead and commit and go ahead and do the sleeves and do everything and have it ready to go for when I'm not pregnant anymore and try it on then and worst case scenario it doesn't fit and that's my goal to meet I hate the idea of that though I don't know it's just hard making things and through and I'm pregnant some stuff I can't exactly measure but I wanted to go based on the measurements you know post pregnancy but um yeah 
So, so that's the other two projects. The last project was with me. So this is something new in my stash since I had got that 40% off when I had bought those colors for my Halloween cardigan. So I took advantage of that deal, 40% off um, for the Heartland Lion Brand yarn. So I have these four. I have a total of two for each color, so that's eight. And I thought I can do a sweater or I can do a granny square um, blanket, ball blanket. I don't know. I love the colors though. I think I could have bought a green. I don't know why I didn't buy a green or they didn't have green. I don't know, but um, that's a lot of colors as it is. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. And I wasn't originally gonna pull it out to put on my list, but I just bought them and I don't want them to sit in my stash and then they get old in a sense. They don't, they don't expire, but they get forgotten. That's what I want to say. They get forgotten. So that's a total of eight. I still have them in their bag. Just so that way they're there and I use them. I don't want to put them away and out of sight, out of mind. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do a few rows of the orange. Let's see if I can knock out the orange today. Comment down below. Let me know what is on your hook and what is on your list of things to do. You know what I would love to do? Um, I've seen so many videos. No, it's getting tangled. Of um, how much can I crochet in 24 hours? How much can I crochet in a week? I love that idea since I'm going to be home more often. Now, mind you, I'm going to have, a, I do have a bunch of um, doctor's appointments. Um, a little more than usual, just based on my daughter's condition. That's another topic for another day. Right now, she is healthy. She is safe in the womb. But I'm just taking it easy. So this is why I'm kind of adding a lot of projects on my plate. Just trying to stay busy. <clears throat> just because, um... That's what you do, right? You just take it day by day. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna have more appointments, but even when I go to appointments, I take my yarn with me because I know I'm gonna be sitting in the lobby for a little bit in between um, while I wait and stuff. So I like having yarn projects and I like having multiple projects too. So when I get bored, I do like the idea of having different style yarns as well and um i just it makes it more fun I, I think this is starting to get tangled toward the end i should have wound it up into a little ball i just get lazy i want to get a wine ball a winder is that what you call it where you get to wind the balls but um into little balls or little cakes into cakes that's what i've heard but i haven't bit the bullet and made that investment because I could just buy more yarn instead of buying a machine. <laughs> is that so bad? But um, yeah. So here we go. This is all that's left. Look at that. Tiny little ball. All right. Let's see how much I can get done. I wonder if I can do a how much can I crochet in twenty four hours, or maybe how much can I crochet in a week. Um, I thinking the whole like crochet in 24 hours I would think of things for the craft fair the craft market which is going on in um, December and um, I would do like a bunch of small little things I thought uh, I could do a bunch of ear warmers and keychains and flowers I've always wanted to crochet flowers I think I've already done like one or two so I can see that and what else some dish cloths uh, that sounded weird like pot holders and things like that. I think that would be kind of cool to see how much I can crochet in 24 hours. Um, before I start recording, I would make sure like I have all the patterns ready and I know how to do each of those items so that way it's strictly just about not really learning because I don't already have that under my belt, but rather how many can I do in 24 hours. I will not stay up for 24 hours, but I will place like a timer and every time I'm crocheting, I will time that until I reach the 24 hour mark. So, I don't know, just something to consider. It sounds challenging, but it kind of sounds fun. Um, and it'd be nice to see how many I can now do. I'm gonna go ahead and probably place 
this and fast forward and see how much I can get done. And I will share an update here in a bit. Today is a new day. So, um, I don't know, it's been like four or five days since I've been recording this. I kind of feel like it's going to be a, what I crocheting a week or how many projects that I cast on this week. Just give you a guess. I think the last we talked, I was on this orange blanket for my son, a candy corn and the double crochet. And, um, I ran out of the little ball of yarn of orange that I had left. So I had to go to the store and get some more orange. I think it's called pumpkin. Yes. From red heart. I hope I don't have a lot of this because I was really trying to use my stash, but I am happy to use it. So if a product project needs it, then I'm okay with buying. Oh, I did have to buy another white, which I should have bought the big, big one because my granny square cardigan, no, it's my granny square sweater also needs more white. So I should have brought a big one. So I may need to get another one for that project, but that's here and there. And then I have this big, huge yellow that's going to be for the candy corn wig. So I was working on that. I got a couple of rows um, from the last time that we last talked. It's all curled up. I am getting really tight on my stitches and I'm trying not to, but all right. Now I did cast on another project. I did, I cast it, it on yesterday and it is in a bulky weight, I think size five yarn. It's the project that I had with the bamboo yarn in these colors. I had seven skeins. And I just, it kept floating around in my head that I have to, sorry, get it done. Oh no, I just put a stitch. Okay. Let me just pull that out so I don't keep pulling out stitches. And this is what I have so far. I worked in the treble crochet so that way it whips up pretty good. I got one panel done, you guys, what do you think? It's gonna be a nice little, um, what do you call it? I don't know what to call it, it's almost a sweater, kind of, but, and you just get to pull it over and you wear like a spaghetti strap underneath. So it's gonna be nice and airy, but I love the color change. So I got four of this um, beige and then, so it starts like this pattern, starts with the green, then the green, so it's four, three, two rows, one row of that yellow. So I really like the way this turned out. The only thing is that's having me kind of like hiccup or stop is um, the brown color, which I have three skeins of, the most of the colors. It took one skein to do the front panel. So then I would need one skein for the back panel. And then I have to make the third skein last for the arms. So I'm a little concerned I'm not going to have enough and that kind of worries me. Um, I mean, I could still do this pattern on the, on the back. So I have two of these. So I think this will be enough to use for the back panel. And then the other one could be for the arms. And then I still have a lot of this. So I'm not concerned about this. Maybe I can add more of this on the arms. Would I like that though? Maybe do two, like, I don't know. Cause I'm going to have some left over. Oh, maybe you can do like a, a, an ear warmer to match with this. Well, I won't have any other colors. I can make some pumpkins. We shall see because I, who knows, maybe I won't have enough. But I'm like, just kind of struck going down to a wire. But I love the way this came out. I love the airy feel. It's going to like, I'm going to be able to pull it over my spring straps. And I just, I'm happy that I'm finally using it. So just a little panel. Um, and the triple crochet, which I've never done a product um, project with triple crochet. So hopefully this turns out good, but so far I love it. All right, so there's that one. So, so far I have casted on three projects and I know I'm not going to get all these finished in September, but I'm just in the mood to try out all these patterns, which is so crazy because um, August I was just doing 
single crochet, the moth stitch slash like the, the linen stitch. Yeah, it's only one cute, all the patterns. It's nice. So, but yes, so let's see what I can finish up right now and um, by the end of the week. And then hopefully by the end of the month for September, I can share some finished projects with you guys. If not, worst case scenario, October is going to be a really great month of all these projects completed. So let me go ahead and I think I'm going to go back to this one since I haven't picked this one back up. Alright you guys, it has been a week since I started recording so I'm going to go ahead and finish off here and just share the overview of basically all the projects that I casted on this week. I think it was really ambitious and I know what got me started was my Halloween cardigan. I had ran out of black yarn so then in between time um, until I got the skein of black yarn what do I do now and so I started wanting to pick up anything and everything so I don't think I did too bad I picked up three projects within this week I started casting on three new projects on my docket did any of them get done no <laughs> and I think that's going to be the only drawback to casting on so many projects at the same time it does delay the finish outcome which is kind of sad so um I last left off with you guys was um kind of picking this back up I went ahead and did the like connection to the back panel and the front panel okay that looks weird and that's how it's supposed to look I don't have it right I don't know if I like this I feel like it looks a little weird but it's not like hang on let me show it to you it doesn't look weird on me I know it does look weird with the shirt I'm wearing but I mean it doesn't look bad but the thing is like since I'm pregnant I cannot you know so my thought process was to go ahead and put this project down and pick it back up in November December or even January just because I can see myself wearing this for December and January so I may pick it up the end of November so I can have it ready and by the end of November I should not um, I'll have my daughter so and I love that it is kind of long so I, I'm okay with it and I may I don't know I don't know if anybody's done that but done like side panels so I just feel like I think it's my pregnancy though so I can't say like it really feels like it's not gonna fit but my belly's in the way <laughs> but I'm happy with what I have so far I really like the way this looks and I'm okay with placing this down I'm not 100% okay with like the bind off that I did and you'll see it in the back but I am okay with it better than the first time that I made this so this is gonna go to the back burner but I did cast this on this week so I am happy with that I don't think I picked this back up since we last talked it feels like it's still the same but then again I feel like it's just slow growing well let's check that out thing you know the, the, yeah it looks a little more it's got a little skinny so that's a good sign I should start counting my rows so that way or place a little um, a marker so each time we talk I can have a better um, grasp what I did pick up the rest of the week was the um, this one so this is the one that I told you about the mesh um, I had one panel done and for the second panel I am on the second color change so I think I worked a little tighter now that I got used to the stitch so I do work on the tighter side I wonder what it looks like okay cool so um yeah so cast it on three projects none of them got done but I'm hoping that I'll have at least one or two done by the end of September and I can share that with you as well as my Halloween cardigan and the ribbing so I have the rest of this weekend um, of September the last weekend of the month to get these projects done I'm hoping I can get this one done because it does whip up fast and that's why I think I kind of dropped the ball on this one because this one was whipping you know up a lot faster and it got me more excited to see like oh a finished project so um, yeah I'm gonna see if I can get this done get it together and then go back to that blanket because I do want to have that blanket done by October so no pressure on that one but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this chat crochet vlog and you saw what I had on my hook and what I was working with and how many projects I can cast on in a week I think I could have done two more but um, I think three is good I think three is good so that way I actually see a finished project sooner than later because um, yeah <laughs> so if I finish one 
by September, then I will pick up this one and do that um, Alpine stitch. And I really want to get started on that so bad. That one are the granny squares. Yeah, I'm really excited to start something new. I think this whole tendency of just picking up new projects is so much more exciting than having to like follow through and now finish them. So wish me luck and hopefully I can share some finished projects at the end of September. If not, like I said, October is going to be a really good month for finished projects. Okay, so that is what I've been crocheting this week and I did have doctor visits and errands and um, a sick kiddo for a day so I thought I did pretty good. Help you take the time to comment and place let me know what's on your hook and what colors are you working with. Are you fall? Are you going a different route? Are you picking up your previous whips like I have? Like I said this one was a previous whip that I had vlogged and took um, aside. Again I'm working in that whole um, stash resting mindset as well as picking up some new projects um, along the way to keep me excited. Um, I hope you enjoyed the process and you stick around along the journey to see the finished projects. I'll catch you in the next video.